part of the antigen antibody reaction where we will be discussing the complement fixation test and the neutralization test now these are very soft topics and you only need to remember the definition and certain examples from for your exams what is the complement fixation test so by the name itself it is clear that there is fixation occurring and fixation of what fixation of the complement protein is occurring so it is nothing but the fixation of the complement fixation that is occurring in the complement fixation test so we can derive the definition from this uh, name itself that it is a serological test to detect whether the complement protein have been used up fixation means whether it has been used up or not in a given antigen antibody reaction so it is a type of serological test where uh, uh, where we detect whether the complement proteins have been used up or not in a particular antibody antigen reaction now it is helpful in detecting the complement fixing antibody in a rickettsia chlamydia mycoplasma treponema pallidum etc etc you can remember the examples where uh, it may be helpful in detecting the certain antibodies in certain conditions like rickettsia chlamydia mycoplasma etc now coming to the neutralization test the neutralization test is uh, a test where when an antibody binds to antigen of a microorganism and toxic effect of that microorganism is completely neutralized, neutralized such that it becomes harmless then it is called as the neutralization reaction or the neutralization test so neutralization test is such a test where an antibody binds to the antigen of a microorganism and the toxic effect of that microorganism is completely gone after that then it is called as the neutralization test what are the examples the examples are the viral neutralization test where the patient serum it is which is containing the antibody when uh, is reacted with the live viral suspension and that is poured on a cell line and the cell line is unaffected then it is a viral neutralization test because the cell line is generally affected by the viruses if it is not getting affected that means the viral has been neutralized with the patient's antibody serum antibody okay so that is a example of neutralization test then the toxin antitoxin neutralization tests such as sick test and the nagler reaction so these are the two examples of the these are the two examples of the neutralization test so what happens in the sick test is that the diphtheria toxin antitoxin uh, uh, diphtheria toxin and the antitoxins react with each other and thereby neutralization of the diphtheria toxin occurs so here also there is neutralization of the diphtheria toxin so it is an example of diphtheria i mean it is an example of the neutralization test in the nagler reaction what happens is that in the nagler reaction what happens is that the neutralization of the alpha toxin of prosodium perfringens occur okay so that is also an example of the neutralization test then we have the capsule swelling reaction which is shown by the pneumococcus so when the uh, antibodies bind to the pneumococcal uh, cell wall then there is swelling of the antibody uh, swelling of the cell wall of the pneumococcus that is called as the capsule swelling reaction that is also an example of the neutralization test Okay, or the neutralization reaction you should remember the example this may be asked in the mcqs then we have opsonization the opsonization is also a example of the neutralization test what happens in the opsonization is that a antibody or a complement protein a antibody or a complement protein such as c3b is a very commonly uh, i mean very common uh, complement protein which acts as the opsonin okay so which binds to the bacterial cell surface and makes them uh, palatable to the macrophages so that the macrophages come and eat them preferably and this reaction is called as the opsonization so what happens that the, when the antibody or the complement proteins bound to the bacterial cell surface antigen they make the pathogen more easily recognizable and thereby susceptible to phagocytosis by macrophages in normal day to day uh, language we can say that they make the uh, bacteria very much tasty for the macrophages so that the macrophages come and engulf them and eat those uh, pathogens okay and this reaction is called as the opsonization 
this is called as the this uh, i mean this type of heterocytosis is called as the opsonization so that's the definition of the opsonization as well so that is also an example of the neutralization test because the pathogen is being neutralized here also so these are the some of the examples of the neutralization test and the complement fixation test so that's all for the second part of the antigen antibody reaction next we will be talking about the elisa